Dear colleagues, this is a cataract with fibrous anterior capsule. The patient is a 33 years old lady. She has this coloboma iris and on ultrasonography we could find out that she has total retinal detachment. Now we have planned to do cataract surgery first followed by a retinal detachment surgery. The retinal surgeon has instructed me to remove the cataract only and not to put an intraocular lens. And here I am, I want to remove just the cataract. The patient had phacodonesis and uh, it is very difficult to do this case. And uh, the, since the patient, uh, the retinal surgeon has instructed me uh, to keep the patient aphakic and he said it doesn't matter if there is PC rent so here I am I have not opted for any CTR in this case and I have done a rexis and I didn't do any hydrodissection in this case now, I, in this video, I want to show how uh, we can manage uh, the nucleus when the capsule is very lax and the capsule tends to come to the uh, aspirating port of the FECO handpiece very frequently. And here it is. This is inside out hydro. I have chopped the nucleus and I am waiting for some time so that the fluid goes from uh, inside to outside. So this is reverse hydrodissection. Now here it is. When I emulsify this free nuclear fragment, I push the remaining nucleus behind this nucleus, this, behind this fragment which is being emulsified. And thus, I protect the posterior capsule. I thank Dr. Adrian from Romania for sharing this tip. When I emulsify this fragment, I just push the uh, rest of the nucleus behind this fragment so that the posterior capsule is protected. And now here I want to inject some viscoelastic substance because I find that this fragment I cannot, the rest of the nucleus I cannot push behind this free nuclear fragment. So I am injecting some viscoelastic substance, pushing the posterior capsule forward and emulsifying this fragment. However, this is a very uh, temporary measure because the viscoelastic substance comes out very quickly. Now since I didn't do hydrodissection, uh, it is becoming uh, difficult but uh, it's okay. The nucleus has been mobilized and here I chop the nucleus. And again here I push the other fragment behind this fragment and I could save, save the posterior capsule. Now what to do? When I emulsify the last fragment, there's a device called Visco pump. I didn't have that. So I just ask my assistant to inject viscoelastic substance frequently through the sideboard. I just hold the cannula and my assistant injects the viscoelastic substance. And when the cap posterior capsule has gone a little distance away, I do some amount of work and when I see that the posterior capsule is again at risk, I stop and I again inject some viscoelastic substance. 
in this case it is HPMC. If I had waistcoat, it probably would protect, uh, keep the posterior capsule at bay for some longer time. Now here it is. This last three small three four bits of nucleus I just left and I enlarged the main incision a little bit and removed these small nuclear fragments. This is the last attempt. I am just injecting viscoelastic substance and keeping the needle there and as soon as the posterior capsule comes forward, I again inject some more viscoelastic substance. Again I work for some time. At this time, if I decided to put an intraocular lens, if there was no retinal detachment, then I could have put the eye well first and the eye well could have protected the posterior capsule. So next time, whenever I see that the posterior capsule is slack during this last part of the surgery, I will inject the intraocular lens and emulsify the last few fragments. Here I remove the three iris hooks that I used to dilate the people. In this case, there are so many challenges. People are small. There is fibrous anterior capsule and the weak genule and posterior capsule is very lax. Now, these small nuclear fragments are will be removed by viscoelastic substance. Here it is. I inject HPMC and these fragments come out through the enlarged main incision. Dear colleagues, in this video you have got a nice tip. Whenever the genule is weak and the posterior capsule is lack, lax, what in the initial part of surgery what you can do is you can emulsify the free nuclear fragment anterior to uh, another the rest of the nucleus which is pushed behind the free nuclear fragment. So one nuclear fragment is emulsified and the rest of the nuclear mass protects the corn protects the posterior capsule. Now the patient is will wait for retinal detachment surgery for one week and that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope you got some tips from this video.